before Rob Gronkowski would have 2.4 million Instagram followers and would become the Tide Pod anti-eating ambassador. Before the tight end would be ranked the ninth greatest NFL player in 2016, pick up the 2014 NFL Comeback Player of the Year award, and be a two time Super Bowl champion at the time of this recording. Ah, damn it, what the hell? <laughs> Shut up, come on, don't get mad, bro. I was just kidding. You were kidding? What was the joke? This was. Ah, oh, damn it, you hit the steam. <laughs> Before the Gronk would transition from football into entertainment, landing himself on the cover of GQ, making appearances in Family Guy, Entourage, WrestleMania 33, and become the host of the Nickelodeon show Crash Leets. The New England Patriots select Rob Gronkowski, tight end, Arizona. Before Rob Gronkowski was drafted in the second round of the 2010 NFL Draft with the 42nd pick by the New England Patriots. The bigger picture is going to be whether or not when he gets right up, I mean, he's got to go into the concussion protocol. He's done for the half for sure. That hit right there resulted in a concussion and at the time of this recording, no one knows if the Gronk is going to take the field for Super Bowl 52. Now the dude is the most beloved guy in the NFL and he has huge appeal. He's become a pop culture sensation both on and off the field. He's also totally a bro. Ready? Go! Oh, Bobby Goons with the party foul! With the party foul! Now, athletes are pretty notorious for keeping their personal lives private, but the Gronk is a little different. He hams it up like a guy who's won the lottery. In fact, well, he kinda has. And he's also told the world that he hasn't had to spend any of his NFL money and he just lives off the endorsements he gets from TV commercials. What a life. Here's a new way to wake up. Time. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden documenting the life and career of Robert Gronkowski prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous, and this is an updated video. As always, be sure to let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Now let's get into this bio. Buffalo. <laughs> Robert James Gronkowski was born on May 14, 1989 in a small town just outside Buffalo, New York. He is the second youngest of five brothers born and raised to parents Gordon and Diane Gronkowski, and if you hadn't guessed by the last name, well they're of Polish lineage. Now the Gronkowskis have athleticism flowing through their veins. Their great grandfather Ignatius Gronkowski, well he represented the United States in cycling at the 1924 Summer Olympics in Paris, France and held five world records in the sport. Now take a look at Rob's dad, that guy was a beast! Gordy Sr. played football at West Seneca and Syracuse, he started at offensive guard for 3 years for the Orange. Gordy had a tryout with the USFL and an offer from the CFL, but he decided then that football was over. Plus, he had an army of kids to raise, and I don't know if the CFL paid enough back then, or even today. Now dad got a regular job working at Superior Lubricants in North Tonawanda and eventually decided to open a high end fitness equipment store with his older brother Glenn. They opened GG Fitness in 1990 and today GG will have a dozen locations in New York, Pennsylvania and Ohio. Diane was a stay at home mom but don't fool yourself she didn't have it easy. The five boys were maniacs and Rob was the wildest of the bunch. When Diane attempted to find a babysitter, well she struggled to find anyone to take the job. Rob stated in an interview, We grew up playing so many sports together at every age in our childhood, it's insane. Here are a few of the sports that the boys grew up playing. Basketball, football, baseball, tennis, pool, rugby, volleyball, soccer, ping pong, wrestling, hockey, skiing, weightlifting, video games, board games, mini sticks, darts, bowling, fishing, and rowing. You name it, the boys played it. Things got so rough and tough that the boys would often give each other black eyes. One time Rob knocked over his then 4 year old brother Glenn during a game of mini sticks and that resulted in Glenn needing a whole bunch of stitches. Now Rob was the biggest goofball of them all and promised his brothers that he would change the world of professional sports both as an athlete and an entertainer. His antics sometimes got him in trouble with his parents and his mom well she had a famous plastic spoon that she would belt him on the butt with. Now dad, he was a little more like LeVar Ball but of baseball and of football. Gordy Sr. stated, my goal was always to get all my kids through college with an athletic scholarship. He did his part to help his sons achieve athletic greatness and ease them into weightlifting. The boys got addicted quick and dad would go as far as to throw tennis balls at his sons from close range to help improve their reaction time. 
He didn't push the boys beyond their means or interests. In fact, he didn't let any of his sons play organized football until they reached the 8th grade. Now, Robert was always the biggest kid in class. Take a look at this photo of him when he's only 12 years old. Rob played hockey until he was 14 and naturally he was a center in basketball at Williamsville North High. Now there's one story that hit the press of him purposely keeping the score at 69 points just for humor's sake. He played football as a tight end and as a junior he recorded 36 receptions for 648 yards and 7 touchdowns. Also 73 tackles and 6 sacks on defense. In 2006 his parents divorced and Rob moved with his father to Pennsylvania. Here he attended Woodland Hills High School and as a senior, well there he recorded 8 receptions for 152 yards and 4 touchdowns. He was named a Super Prep All American, Prep Star All American, Associate Press Class 4A All Star, and picked up another half a dozen honors and titles. Now, check out his high school bio. His college of choice listed was the University of Arizona on a full scholarship, which happened. Under hobbies, he wrote working out, playing sports, and chicks. And it looks like he figured that out as well. I fantasized about Gronk lovingly spiking different items onto my butt. A bouquet of flowers. A box of chocolate. He was recruited by Arizona, Clemson, Louisville, Maryland, Ohio State, and Syracuse, but he opted to play for the Wildcats in Arizona. As a freshman in 2007, Rob recorded 28 receptions at 525 yards and 6 touchdowns. He was named the Sporting News Freshman All American on websites Rival.com and picked up other honorable mentions. The next season was no exception. He was twice named the John Mackey National Tight End of the Week. He set the school tight end records for single game, single season and career receptions, yards, and touchdowns. Dude's a total beast. Touchdown, Arizona, Rob Gronkowski. The Wildcats now had a star player in Gronkowski, and for two seasons, he would shatter all the schools receiving records for tight ends, including career, season, and game mark. But then disaster struck, and Rob, he needed to undergo back surgery, and then he went and missed the entire next season. You missed the entire 09 season with a back injury. Update us on your status. Uh, yes, I did, but uh, my status is doing well. I got cleared by many doctors. I, I believe I passed all the physicals here. He would have certainly been a first round pick for the NFL prior to his surgery, and during draft day, well, Rob was pretty tense. He was embarrassed when he didn't hear his name in the first round, but soon enough, he would hear his name. <gasps> While getting drafted, you could care less where you went. I didn't even care about not getting drafted in the first round anymore because it's that good of a feeling. The second he took the stage, he began to entertain the audience just like he told his brothers he would. In fact, all the Gronkowski boys would go on to play professional sports. Four of them in the NFL and the eldest, Gordon Jr., well, he played in the MLB. Now, a Yale researcher, he actually broke down what the chances are of three brothers making it to the NFL, and the odds were 1 in 31 million. For the rest of the story, well, that's pretty much it because this is before they're famous. Now, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn them post notifications on. My name is Michael Crutton, and we're looking for suggestions from you guys on who to document next. Sound off in the comments down below. You can also find me on Instagram or Twitter at McCruddenM. And if you're a big fan of sports, we have an entire playlist dedicated to athletes with a couple hundred videos there. So you should check that out. I'll see you guys in another video. Go! Tonight, to celebrate a little bit, no? Oh, si. Uh, yo, f yo, soy fiesta. Happy. <laughs>